talked about before the game was getting more easy baskets in transition, 44 fast break points. Uh, how much of that was a part of the win today? Uh, that's a big part of the win. 44 fast break points, that means we were getting stops and rebounding and we were out. And uh, that's where we thrive at as a team, as a unit. When we're in transition, uh, I think it's tough to beat us. There's, it just looked like there was offensive flow tonight. I mean, why do you think you guys had that out there collectively? I mean, we just, we just took a bad loss on our own home court two days ago. That's why I said it's the beauty in the NBA. You get to see the, we get to see the team again two days later, and we came out here and handled business. We gotta, now we got to keep the momentum going. Can we talk about defense a little bit the past couple of games? What do you think was the biggest change on that end tonight? It started with Dyson. Uh, I know everybody has their own opinion, but Dyson pressing up full court like that, but not only pressing up, because it's not easy to make Luka like, get out of his game. He was really getting into Luka, so uh, it started with Dyson, and it carried on to everybody else. Uh, what kind of difference Herb make tonight? Like, going back to Herb is Herb. Like, like I said, I didn't think a man can get better on defense like that, but he, he steadily proves me wrong, and he... Man, he's just a not only a special defensive player, his offense is still getting better, and he's just a great teammate. I mean, him, Najee, and Dyson, and Hawk, too. I mean, rookie, asking, asking a rookie to pick up Kyrie Irving or Luka Doncic's full court for majority game, that's, that's a big task, and they go out there day in, day out, and they do it. What do you feel like makes her a, a great teammate? I mean, just being vocal. You know, when you come to the league, uh, the the most advice you usually hear, the uh, thing you hear the most is they got to hear you on the court. Whether it's on offense or defense, you, you always hear five. You always hear them. It seemed like the start of the season, you weren't really having a lot of fun playing basketball. I just as a group. Tonight, everybody was involved. Everybody got touches. Everybody was engaged on both ends of the court. Then... Was there something that clicked in the day off? Was there a, a, a conversation, or was it just? We took a bad loss on our home. I'm sorry to cut you off. No. We took we took a bad loss on our home court, and then, not only that, but games before that, finding ourselves down 20, 25, sometimes 30. I mean, that's not us. I think uh, we kind of put too much pressure on ourselves coming into the season based off the expectations. When in reality, what we do best is we be ourselves. And have fun. I think we did that tonight. Speaking about uh, Brandon, Brandon was able to push the ball a lot today. Um, he was able to find you a couple times. You got back to back alley oops. Like, what is it like when that guy is pushing the pace and being able to find guys? Uh, when an elite scorer like that has the ball in his hands and he's pushing it in transition, a de- the defense has to respect that. So it opens the co- it opens the game up for <clears throat> not just me, but everybody else on the court. And we're able to get more fast break points, more plays to give the crowd energy, and not just the crowd, but ourselves energy as well. Do you feel like, how close do you feel like you are feeling like Zion Williamson? It still, you know, just still seems like there's still some things you're rounding out. How close do you feel? I feel like I'm a little ways away, um, and I hate to say it, and it's kind of what I refer to when I'm saying, like, I'm taking a back seat because I don't want to affect the team, so... I'm like kind of learning a new role right now because I'm not where I need to be. Just the reality of it is. And I got great teammates who are pushing me every day because they know what uh, I can bring to the table. So, I mean, one way or another, I'm going I'm to figure it out. And it seems like, especially in the half court, since there was a big focus on kind of off ball movement, getting everybody active rather than being stagnant when you and the guy had the ball. How much was that a focus coming into this game? I mean, that was just a big focus for us. Uh, not just that, but a few other things. Um, you know, when when if me or B.I. have the ball and nobody's moving, it, it's a little easier to guard. But if everybody's moving, like you said, everybody's touching the ball, uh, it makes it a little tougher to guard because now you have to second guess a few things. Obviously, the, the purple court was different, but did you feel anything different in season tournament out there? Did you feel different in the regular game? Man, y'all saw what I saw. It was a lot of it was a lot of air balls out there tonight. <laughs> y'all saw what I saw. But uh, we got the win. That's all I can ask for.
Thanks, guys.